What happens when you run a mile a day for 30 days? All right, let's get right into it. Re uh, road. I ran, jogged a mile a day for 30 days from May 1st to May 30th. And it was fun. It was actually fun. And here's a little glimpse of everything that I kept track during the 30 days. This is day one. Day one of jogging, running a mile a day for 30 days straight. So let's get going. Ah! Mile one, day one, done. Day two, day fucking two. Day three. Hyper strength and conditioning. A mile a day for 30 days, we're at day three. Just completed mile four. Not bad. Second time in a row hitting under 10 minutes. Not a bad start. Four days in. I'm starting to feel just a little bit in the shins, but not like, like it's like it's almost there, but not really. I need to ice them tonight. They don't hurt, but I can tell they're gonna be shot. Look, oh yeah. Wife is doing it with me. Let's go. Day five felt better than day four. I think it's because when I ate, I ate like probably like oatmeal. Well, yesterday I think I ate it too close to my run window. And I ate this about an hour and a half, two hours before I ran. And that was my first meal today, so I'm still IFA. That's good. It's good stuff. Felt way better, felt lighter. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. What makes doing this challenge easy is having a partner to do it with you. Even, even if she hates it, she I still does it. it. Okay, because she's on recording, she'll say she doesn't hate it. I just completed day seven, one mile a day for 30 days. This completes one full week. When I started, my mile time was around 10 minutes, three seconds. It's not the greatest. Um, Day seven, I'm at 9.10. Shaved off 50 seconds overall. First six days, I shaved 30. I shaved another 20 today. And I was wondering why it was getting harder. I'm like, why is this mile so hard? It's because I was pushing myself. And also there's people on the trail walking, so I had to like run and dodge them and make sure that we had enough distance. And now, yeah, I should start running in the mornings. All right, guys, the day seven is done. Mile eight done, day eight done out of 30 days. 22 miles to go, day nine in the books. Day nine in the books, running around the apartment complex again. Felt good, pace is at 9.30. Didn't even try to push it today, straight up at like 9.30. Day 10 in the books, mile 10, day 10. Um, hips are kind of tight, I just ran right out of bed. Just finished day 11, mile 11. She did one with me. It was good. She didn't feel all right. Uh, exertion level probably like a seven out of 10. And I was able to hit the pace of 9.30 again. Um, nothing crazy. So I definitely have more left in the tank. Uh, but it feels good. We ate a lot yesterday, most day. Day 12 is done. Day 12 is done. Wifey finished hers as well. She decided to jog today. <laughs> She's finishing her mile. She's finishing her mile. Day 13, done. Hit a mile pace at 9.01. Uh, flatter surface, because we went around the complex this time. Uh, it was fun, it was fun, felt good. Almost halfway, almost halfway. 14th mile, day 15, done with the wifey. Halfway, completed day 16. The wifey went for a walk. I walked 
Day 17 is done, but the reason why I'm actually uh, recording from the apartment is because when I was running, my mother called and I had to pick up because she <laughs> she gets mad. If I, if I don't pick up, she's like, I haven't called me in a week. So it was it was fun. I, I jogged the whole mile, very moderate pace. Uh, while I was talking to her, finished at like a 10, 20, 10, 30 pace, which is like, it's not bad, not bad. So uh, it was good, it was good. Day 18 is done. Feels good. Nice leisurely jog, but pasted at a 9.49. Pretty, not bad, nice. not bad. Day 19, done. We just hit day 20. My shins are okay, been nice in them. Uh, I know my, my pace today was about 9.50 and that was just taking it easy, like just taking it super slow. Well, I'm not saying it's a super slow time, but like, I just took it easy. I wasn't trying to go run and gun, but it was great. Day 21 in the books. Hit a, uh, since starting, hit my fastest time yet at 8.38. Started trying to beat me. Beat her at the last minute. Ground was more flat. Ground is more flat, but not bad, 8.38, let's go. Day 22 is done. Day 23, done. Of 30, Jordan. Day 24 done. Day 24 done. Tomorrow I got the adjusted Murph Kobe. challenge. Uh, oh, Kobe. That's right, Kobe. Here we go. Oh, shit. I'm sore as shit, but I still gotta get that mile a day. Day 26. Let's fucking go. Fuck. Day 27 done. Totally forgot to record after I was running. Had to pick up a package, but it was great. Day 28 done. Two more days. Day 29, finish my mile. Wifey's finishing up. One more day. Let's go. Let's go, love. For 30 done. Done deal. Good job. So yeah, so what happened? Well, I developed better habits. It sucked in the beginning, but it, it, it actually got better at the end. At the end of the day, it went from I got I went from 10 minutes 30 seconds to roughly 8 minutes 38 seconds. So that was like my mild time improvement. So I shaved off about two minutes. Um, I lost a pound. So but weight loss wasn't really the, the, the driving force of it, it was just doing it seeing if I can do it, and it did, it was fun. Cardio was good, body comp was actually still good though. So even though I wasn't losing like the pounds, uh, body composition wise, like body fat wise, I felt like I leaned out, my shirts were fitting better. Uh, I was also on top of my eating though, ladies and gents, that's the thing for the last 30 days. And I was also pairing it up with like crazy workouts here and there, especially with the Murph. I did the Murph, oh, and then I had to do seven more miles after the Murph, like a mile a day, and that was tough. Uh, but I used cross training shoes, uh, my feet, I actually have some plantar fasciitis. I actually suffer from that. So running a mile day f uh, for 30 days, I was kind of like, oh dude, will I get, will my feet get all fucked up or what's going on? But actually, I didn't have to ice much. Um, I, I allowed at least, you know, at least 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours, you know, between every run. Um, but shin splints weren't really a factor. I mitigated it, but Every time I attacked, every time I attacked the mile or ran the mile, I didn't try to go for a PR every fucking time. I went for, you know, I just jogged it, uh, ran it, you know, but I, knew I wasn't trying to kill myself. And that's what helped. That's what helped and kept sticking with it. So it was a great opportunity. It was a great thing. I highly suggest people to, uh, to do it. Uh, it was very fun. And uh, just a mile day for 30 days. 
just challenge yourself. It was only 10 minutes. You do a lot of stuff on your phone. You know, social media, watching TV, it's 10 minutes out of your day, 15 minutes TV. You think, all right, I'm Austin, it makes me, it takes me 20 minutes to run a walk a mile. Then do it. But with it, do a 30 minute, because after I was said and done, after I jog a mile, I would actually walk another mile to like, you know, I just want to walk it out. So it was like, it was like a 30 minute window of me just being active and just getting out here, especially when the shelter in place. And it was fun, it was good. It built better habits. I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm gonna go a two mile run and I'm gonna start my next challenge of fitness, which is 10,000 kettlebell swings in, in, in four weeks. Uh, shout out to Coach DeSanto for, for uh, putting that out there. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, we'll do mile a day for 30 days if you wanna change your life. If you want to get better habits, if you wanna start making actual change in your life, bettering your habits, getting more physically active, bettering your health, start to change your body comp, do it. Just have fun with it. You don't have to run it all the time. You could walk it, you could run it, whatever. On top of that, we're doing our virtual 5K, 10K. So if you wanna sign up for that, you get a medal and a shirt. That is right. So we're pushing that, shameless plug. And uh, links at the bottom. If you sign up, you get a medal and a shirt, you have 30 days, I think up to June 30th to jog or walk a 5K or a 10K. And this is a way for helping HSC when it's physically closed. Uh, Cause we're probably gonna be closed for a, a little longer, but but yeah, but that's it. We got, we got racers doing it. We got people already doing the 10K and thank you guys for everyone who already signed up. I'm um, trying to get a thousand racers. So we'll see if we can get that around the world. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe and do all the things. We heavily appreciate it uh, as a small business and we love, and we love it. And, you know, we make this content for you guys to help level up your lives and we hope we're doing it. We're hope we're doing it. <laughs> the more we support we get, the better we get at it. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is Coach Austin with Hyper Strength and Conditioning. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.